Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Founders Grid. Today we have David. David is the co-founder of Lucid Drone Technologies. David, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. So, uh, drones, technology, you know, what led you guys? It's a competitive market, right? Mm -hmm. But you, despite that, you guys have been doing phenomenal. So, what was the initial motivation behind coming up with co-founding Lucid Technologies? Right. So Lucid was founded initially out of uh, humanitarian reasons. Um, we initially started building drones that clean buildings. So clean like window washing and roof cleaning and other exterior building cleaning. Um, and really the origins of that was seeing humans suspended at great heights and seeing some of the statistics around people that died um, and thinking that drones could do a, a better job. Um, we are engineers by trade and kind of, um, I guess we had um, really gotten into the drones as a way to um, revolutionize that industry um, rather than being drone people that got into um, a specific use case, if that makes sense. Interesting. And how's the journey been so far, you know, finding the product market fit? Especially, yeah. You know, coming up with the drone, the pricing, the first yeah. sale, can you share that experience step by step with me yeah yeah it's um it's been really valuable going through the the process of building a startup we started by buying off the shelf drones so um we didn't initially start with building our own drones and that's kind of the the market that we found to be most interesting to us was actually building the drones and providing support behind them we had bought dji drones and had issues with them in fact, we had several drones that we had some smaller problems with that we sent back to DJI that we didn't get back for five months. So we really recognize that as a whole in the, in the drone industry. Um, the whole being that there's not a good way to buy an expensive and heavy lift drone and feel that there's um, kind of someone else on the other side, like a drone company on the other side of the phone, they're kind of supporting you. So what we offer is drones with kind of robust customer service behind them. Um, 90 something percent of the drones that you see out there are Chinese made drones and a lot of them don't have the support behind them. Um, so that's kind of what we're, what we're offering. Interesting. Interesting. So, and how's the journey been so far? You know, YC went into YC last year. So what was the experience at YC and the learnings that you got out of YC? Yeah, Y Combinator was was really cool. Um, it was cool to go out to the Bay Area because um, we're based in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's um, a different culture out there, and it was it was really cool to see a bunch of like minded people working towards turning their dreams into into um, startups and then eventually larger businesses. Um, so that was that was really valuable. I think some of the some of the advice that they give is invaluable. Just being part of this kind of culture and you know, and mindset that they uh that they foster is really one of, one of the most valuable parts about it as well but um yeah just being there is a really cool energy and a lot of really cool people associated with the uh with the program so you know un, uh, unfortunate times because of covid you know and but okay. it has also acted as a catalyst for some industries and some businesses zoom being the biggest example of all right uh -huh. So how has it impacted Lucid Drone Technologies and going forward, do you think how the industry would evolve for your product? Right. So we, I guess before COVID, we're building drones that can clean the exterior buildings. And that's an industry that isn't really being, um, <laughs> there's no industry for that in 2020. Um, people are basically taking all of their budgets that they were using for the out the exterior, kind of like the, um, the aesthetics and reappropriating it towards sanitizing the inside. And with the technology that we have, kind of our, our drone build is pretty seamless and uh, applicable to a lot of different industries. We were able to kind of rapid prototype and release a sanitation drone. Um, this drone's for sanitizing large venues. And um, we see that as a way to kind of help out the, help out people getting back to work as well as a way to keep our business uh, productive during the, during the down period of the coronavirus. Um, long term, I don't really know how the sanitation drone is going to, um, I don't know how 
how much sanitation is going to be happening in 10 or 15 years, but um, it's a really exciting way for us to get our drones out there and um, continue helping people out. Interesting. So, uh, David, last question. Uh, uh -huh. you're, you're the CFO at Lucid Technologies. Uh -huh. That means you look after the investor relations as well as for the first fundraising. Mm -hmm. So any three piece of advice you would want to give out to other young budding entrepreneurs who are at an earlier stage of how to go about the fundraising process, especially factoring in COVID and everything? Well, I think the coronavirus, you're going to see angel investors kind of disappear. So what you should do is prioritize going after customers and revenue because you're going to have to get over the hump of getting a, a fund on board, which are the only people in that I've seen are still investing their money since they have all the dry powder of their funds. Um, so yeah, I would focus on bringing in customer customer funding rather than investor funding because it's going to be a lot more difficult. Got it. David, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being on the podcast. We would have loved to continue, but you know, my marketing team tells yeah. me not to keep it within eight to 10 minutes, but thank you yeah. so much for being on the show. Yeah, I appreciate your time.